comedian David Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. Thanks to everyone who's been sending me concerned messages about my nana, seeing how she's going. The update is she's still fucked, but she's doing fractionally better. She actually started smoking weed again. She was Snoop Doggin' it pretty hard there for a while, but I think they ran out of weed and never replaced it. But they got some more. I think it was the day after that episode I said she was pretty close. She got up the next morning, had a joint, and apparently that perked her up a little bit. And they got her a bunch more weed, and now she's like some sort of fucking bong head. She's got dreads now, and she's listening to Bob Marley. I don't know what the fuck's happened to her. She's a 90-year-old Polish lady. They've completely corrupted her. But the weed seems to be working pretty fucking good. My auntie said she smoked five joints the other day. That's a pretty good amount of joints for a 90-year-old, isn't it? A 90-year-old with lung cancer. I think she enjoys the fight. It seems in her mind she's like, I don't give a fuck what you throw at me. I am not going until I am fucking ready. I will absorb any fucking thing you throw at me. Which is the attitude you want to have in life because life is fucking suffering. Because at some point, you're going to have to fucking face the void. That deep, dark void. You'd want to be a little bit prepared for it. You want to be able to stare down any suffering. That's the thing with my nana. At the end of her life, whenever that may be, could be another 10 years. Who fucking knows now? But at the end of her life, she gets to say, Hey, I fucking took everything you threw at me. On her day of judgment, she gets to stand there with the angels or God or whoever is there keeping count, and she can look them in the eye and say, hey, I took everything you fucking threw at me. She wouldn't swear, probably. I took everything you threw at me, and I never flinched. That's really where you want to be at at the end of your life. You want to be able to say, I absorbed it. All the suffering in the fucking world, all the heartbreak, all the torture, everything you threw at me, I fucking absorbed it and I'm here. You couldn't fucking break me. That's where I want to get to. Eventually. Eventually I want to get there. Not right now. I'm just easing into it. I spoke to my dad and we were speaking about my nana and all the shit she's been through. And how hard she fights even at 90. And we were both in agreement that we will not be fighting. We will be giving up almost immediately. But... Giving up sounds all well and good. That sounds like an easy option, but you don't escape hell by giving up. You're stuck in hell if you give up. Eventually, you have to fucking face it and fight your way out of it. Eventually, you're going to have to fight regardless of if you want to or not. That's just the way things work. Everyone gets put to the test eventually. That's how you see where you're at, how you fucking overcome shit. Like 18 months ago, I would not have been able to overcome a fucking sprained ankle. There's no way. I didn't have the confidence. I wasn't strong enough. I was weak. I feel like I'm rebuilding slowly. I'm getting slowly stronger. My powers are increasing, but I'm nowhere near ready to be put to the test yet. I need another good couple of years of strengthening myself before I get put to the test. And the test is eventually going to come, and it's going to fucking suck. And I don't know if I'll be able to get through it or not. But it's coming. No one is exempt. This seems to be what happens. The stronger you get, the bigger the tests are that get thrown your way. The bigger the things are you have to overcome. Which makes sense as well. Because if you're weak, the shit that can destroy you is so minor. A strong person wouldn't even consider it an obstacle. They'd be like, oh, fuck that. Just continue on. But then I think what happens is... You get to a point of personal and inner strength. You reach a certain level where you're ready for the big one. The big fucking test. The one that can destroy you. The one that will take every last fucking ounce of your strength and fortitude to overcome. The one where you get to stand in front of the fucking angels and God at the end of your life and say, I fucking took it. I took everything you fucking threw at me. And I was ready to take more. That's where you fucking want to be. I was thinking about death the other day. And I was thinking about if I died, let's say, two years ago or three years ago. If I had died two or three years ago, at the end of my life, what could I have said about my life? And the only thing I could have said three years ago is I failed. I wasted it. I was weak. 
I was scared. I was a coward. And there's no fucking way in the afterlife you can rock up to the angels and God, or if you're Buddhist, the hell and the heaven deities or whatever the fuck they are. You can't rock up as a coward and have some attitude and think you're fucking getting anywhere. You get in nowhere. Yeah, fucking I failed God. Yeah, I was a coward. Who gives a shit? Now let me in, cunt. They'll see straight through the bluster because it's not real. You're a coward. You've already admitted it. So that's how it would have been if I died three years ago. If I died now, right now, I could rock up to God, look him in the fucking eyes and say, I tried. I really fucking tried. And I'm pretty sure they would agree. The angels would nod their head going, yeah, he did try. He tried. But trying is not fucking good enough now. The next step is to rock up to God and the angels and go, I fulfilled my potential. And that is the bare minimum you want to be rocking up to fucking God with. I fulfilled my potential. You gave me something to become and I became that. That's the minimum you want to be rocking up with. That's par for the fucking course. I want to be like my nana. I want to be able to rock up there and go, I fucking took it all. There was nothing you could have thrown at me that I could not have taken. If you left me down there for another thousand years, I would have taken it all. And that's when the angels shuffle over and you see a chair there. They've saved you a chair. That's how you get your fucking seat at the table. All right, that is it for me tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around. Hit me up on social media. See you the fuck later.